gas or diesel. Hey guys, it's Izzy and MJ from Endless RV and the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below. Make sure to hit the notification bell. And if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. And make sure to stay to the end guys, because we're gonna let you know if we feel, did we make the right choice with the gas and will we do it again? all right so let's get right into this so number one is going to be the price right and there are there is a big difference between mm -hmm. we're going to talk about class a motorhomes for this one okay right, right there's a big difference between the price of a diesel pusher or anything with a diesel because they have like diesel pullers now right and a gas motorhome so we're going to talk new uh, entry level gas motorhome class a is probably going to cost you around like the 80 to 90 thousand dollar mark top end uh, you're talking maybe about 200,000 that's where the entry-level diesel begins right mm -hmm. so there's a huge difference in the uh, initial startup cost uh, and that's to do with a variety of things that we are going to cover in this video so the next thing guys is space all right so for gassers you're looking at the top end 39 to 40 feet when you get into the diesels you of course can head up to 45 feet and sometimes even a little bit more. Then you have the uh, pass-through storage, the option for that on the diesel, right? On the gassers, you don't have that option. So you're gonna get so much more carrying space when you have a diesel. Yeah, and then also touching on, I guess, capability. Uh, so on a gas motorhome right now, as far as I know, uh, the biggest, the largest frame is the F53, 26,000 pound uh, gross vehicle weight rating, right? That is like low end on a diesel, right? Some of these diesels are 50,000 pound uh, gross vehicle weight rating on the chassis. So that's gonna give you a lot of things. You're gonna have much more payload. Some of these with the tag axle, 7,000, 8,000 pounds and up, you can carry much more on the tow capacity. Most gassers, class A, 5,000 pounds you could tow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's kind of like, that's nothing on a diesel. Most diesels are minimum 7,500. On average, 10 to 15,000, they can go up to 40,000 pounds yeah, on some super C's. The super C's, yeah. Yeah, class yeah. A is 20,000 pounds. So you, you get a lot more, uh, you know, better uh, ride and uh, just an overall heftier package in a diesel. All right, next guys, and I, I think some of this is based in myth and not really in fact, is a uh, fuel economy okay so a lot of people will say that a diesel is fuel efficient which is true somewhat maybe if you're in a pickup truck but you gotta remember fuel efficiency has a lot depends on aerodynamics and class a's are not aerodynamic right so we don't own a diesel but everything i've read you know some of these bigger diesels they get seven and a half miles per gallon you know on on diesel we get 7.3 to 7.4 on the highway so it kind of uh weighs itself out also most of the time diesel is significantly more expensive than gas mm -hmm. right like right mm -hmm. now gas by us is about 215 a gallon and diesel is going to be around 280 so think about that 80 gallon uh, tank on the gas 100 up to 300 gallons on a diesel i don't know how much of that is really true but fuel efficiency so the next thing is going to be look right the look of a diesel sorry we have a gasser but it's just to us, I think it's nicer. You have so many more options in terms of look when you're getting a diesel, all right? So you're somewhat limited in, in many gas models, right? Yeah, we have a quad slide, but that's gonna limit us then in other areas, right? So in diesels, you can get that quad slide and you can get the tile floors and you can get the marble countertops and the two full baths and things like that, right? Yeah, heated floors, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you could have three, four air conditioners mm -hmm. in some diesels. It, it's just. Everything you can get in a gas, you can get that and much more in a diesel. All right, guys, traditionally in a diesel, and this is the big reason why people go to diesel, is that you're gonna get more power, right? More horsepower, but really more important, more torque, right? So what's that gonna allow you to do? It's gonna allow you to tow more weight, okay? It's gonna allow you to climb the mountains easier. Mm -hmm. All, you know, travel at a higher speed, all that stuff it's going to allow you to do. Not that you can't do that in a gasser. You can. You're just going to be a little bit slower. And it's going to be easier <laughs> and it's going to be smoother in a diesel. Okay, so when we ride our gasser and we hit the bumps, you feel it. Mm -hmm. All right, you do feel it. You're not going to feel that as much on a diesel. The ride is going to be definitely much smoother. Also, it's going to be quieter, right? So almost all gas motorhomes, the engine is right up front, like literally right on top of you most diesel pushers the motors all the way in the back so you're not going to hear it. you'll hear the thing turn on but then you're not going to hear it when it's running down the road Except so those super c's 
Yeah, well, they're right up front. No. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so it's going to be a lot quieter ride on a uh, in a diesel pusher. All right. Next, we're going to talk about just the upkeep and service. So earlier we talked about the initial cost, and it cost a lot more initially on a diesel. Well, that cost doesn't end there, right? Service is going to cost you a lot more on a diesel. I don't care what you diesel people say out there. I you see oh, it, it's so much cheaper, <laughs> but it's not cheaper. Okay. With a gas, I can do most of this maintenance myself. And if I don't, I can go to any Ford commercial truck dealer and they do it. You know how much our service was for this last year in Ford? It was a hundred and I think $60 to have the chassis grease. And I didn't even have to do that. I just did it to do it. I can do my own oil changes. I can do, you know, most of the checks. It's it's very simple. It's just a, a simple Ford V10. As far as oil, right? It's seven quarts of oil. It's not that in a diesel, right? right. Like you, you're talking gallons of oil. And then to get to that stuff, it's it's way more difficult. So there's a lot, the more complicated, the air systems, the air brakes, the hydronic heating, all that stuff, all those luxuries, those nice things you want to have in a diesel, which are awesome, cost more to maintain. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. Even chassis batteries, we have four chassis batteries. That's like entry level on a diesel. Most are going to have six, eight, 12 batteries, right? Well, when you go to replace them and they're 300 bucks each, well, you do the math, right? Mm -hmm. It's cheaper to own mm -hmm. a gasser. All right, so question is, why did we choose a gas over a diesel? Well, at this point in our lives, guys, we really had no need for a diesel, right? We're not full time. We are not, we don't travel that much where we needed to have that spend that amount of money so really cost for us at this point was the biggest reason that we went with a gasser yeah now mj said you know we're not full time and that's why we don't have a diesel listen you can live in a good gasser mm -hmm. full time we know people that do that right you don't what we have now is believe me it's plenty we have plenty mm -hmm. of room we have all the amenities we need a diesel just takes it to the next level right so are we happy with our choice yeah we're happy with our choice because uh it, it fits our budget perfectly it fits our driveway perfectly mm -hmm. i can maintain this and we don't have that uh, constant upkeep and cost that we would have in a diesel right now in the future when we are a little older and you know jason is is not around in the house and, and we have a smaller house and, and we have more income coming in yes we may step up to a diesel but who knows five years from now what gassers may be right they may be may step up huh that's different than what I hear on a daily basis we may step up we don't know you don't know till you get to that point right so most likely we will be heading into the diesel arena for anybody out there that knows uh, anybody that's looking for a motorhome specifically a class a and they're wondering you know gas versus diesel please feel free to share this video with them it may answer some questions uh, also in the comments below if you own a motorhome what do you own gas diesel and why did you choose yeah. that and then to the left of us we'll put our rv diy and rv essential upgrades playlist and for myself and mj we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the road, road. Thank you.